for YouTube. That's for YouTube. Hello, viewers. I think I was wearing this shirt last. <laughs> I have a lot of mob shirts. We're exploring the Mesa, the Grand Mesa in Grand yeah. Junction. Yeah, if you're from Grand Junction, then you probably know it as just the Mesa. Let's go up on the Mesa. But for everyone else, I believe it's the Grand Mesa, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of dirt roads up here that we have not explored. And lovely views. Yeah, a lot of lovely views. It's it's uh, later in the day, so we're gonna see some sunset views. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how he convinced me. First, he's asking me if I want to go on a 45-minute drive to watch the sunset, and then he's rushing me to get off work for a four-hour trip at 4 p.m. Miller Spring is a mile this way. Oh wow! So that's two miles if you incorporate the walk back. It's the wheel in life. The cruiser. The cruiser. Land cruiser 100 debut. Oh, good. Well, no, not good, but you know. Uh, do you want to go uh, do some trails that I haven't done that are up on the Mesa? Or if you're willing to test your shots out, uh, we can go do that run that I did the other day uh, that basically climbed the Mesa from Fulton. Because it's bumpy. Always changing. Uh, it is pretty rocky. Uh, do we reason? Cicadas are super loud. That's all I can hear. Mountain cicada. Size 1 to 2 inches. Traits. Loud. Everywhere. Disgusting. Uh, we went to Colbrin, towards Colbrin on Highway 330, and we'll put kind of a little trail map in here. Uh, really, just a scenic day. I'm excited. A scenic night. I'm excited to see some nice sunset views. That's always fun. I don't really like driving home in the dark and uh, we live through a canyon. So I don't really like that. Um, so we're kind of wanting to see the sunset, but also chasing the sunlight. So let's hope for the best. I didn't want to put on sunscreen, but I don't think I'm going to be able to escape that. Oh, hey. Hey. Come here often? Nope. First time. <laughs> it is. the first time. So because I have basically a truck bed to work with space in the back. Last time I was up here on uh, Saturday, I picked up a 150 pound log, about yay big. That's awesome. <laughs> it's in my yard and I have no idea what to do with it now. Yard art. Somebody had cut it because it was blocking the road. <laughs> Helping. Just doing some trail maintenance and also uh, collecting yard art. <laughs> Alright, now we get 
Ask one of those. <laughs> just modifying my suspension, just hammering, you know, cheap stuff. Hello viewers, Kim here. And Kevin is also here. <laughs> as, welcome to the welcome to the show today. As you've heard, we're on the Grand Mesa in our lovely hometown, Grand Junction. The Grand Mesa, according to Wikipedia, is the largest flat top mountain in the world. Which I did not know in the world. Yeah, five fat five excuse me, five hundred square miles of area, which that's insane. There's so much to do up here. There's we've camped and we've done a lot of wheeling, and I think people can fish too, and maybe ride the bicycles. Can you see? Can you see the thumbs up? No, I missed it. I got it. <sighs> Feature. Viewers, do you see the river? Sorry, I have to look at the windshield. It's so dusty. <laughs> so back to what you can do on the Mesa. We camped one time. I think we actually have it on video on this channel when we camped at Spruce Grove. I think so. Before we, we even lived in Colorado. Yeah, we were there from Utah, and we came here because it was so hot. We went to Moab, and it was way too hot to camp. We had. Made a huge mistake. I think it was in July. Oh my god! Oh, I think it's one of our very first videos. I think it's titled like "Escaping the Heat" or something like that. Oh yeah, when our trailer broke. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole. That's what that a trip. trip! Go back. I'm sorry that our old videos are so bad, but if you want to <laughs> see a fun trip down memory lane about <clears throat> when we camped on the Mesa uh, before we lived in Colorado, but now we live here. And it's cool because you can camp, and even in July it will be chilly. We woke up and I think there was snow on the tent. It was not that true. Yes, yes. And it was July, so. And we went there to get out of the heat in Moab. Yeah, so mission achieved. Yeah. Mission accomplished, I mean. Which, how far achieved. away is that, you think, driving wise? Moab to the Grand Mesa? Uh, four hours, three hours. Okay. Three, I think three hours. It was not that far, but boy, it made a difference. It was. Uh, lots of bugs. It was like camping in an oven in Moab. Oh my gosh. It's almost always like camping in an oven in Moab. Hello viewers. Who am I? Hello viewers. Uh, the farther along that we get on this trail, the farther I think this trail has has a name. Like it's an actual trail. Uh, yeah. I thought we were just going on like a back way, you know, but there's been orange markers, if you've seen them, on some Whoa, of the trees. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those might be for, uh, like, logging operations. It might not be to mark a trail. Oh, that's probably what it's for. That seems more appropriate. But it does mark a trail, because we're on it, and it's a trail, so... Yeah, and we've hit a few rocky spots. Uh, I expected a full dirt road, uh, but we've definitely hit a few areas where we had to put it in four low. One. Uh, one where we, we spun yeah. out a little bit. Yeah, on a hill, on an uphill. Up over a rock, so my rear tires, it's limited slip, and so the rear tires are this. But, uh, I think that you should uh, like, you have to have a, uh, let me start over with that. I wouldn't come up here without, like, an off-road E vehicle, like a Land Cruiser or a Jeep, or, because, like, there's definitely a lot of rocks. Uh, my axles are, like, 11 or 12 or 13 inches off the ground, and I've hit them on a few rocks, so that's pretty substantial if you have, you know, and there's no like signage warning you that you're going to, to uh, like a trail. I had no idea that there were even trails like this up on the Mesa because we've only been to the side where there are like roads. Yeah, this was totally news to me. I was 100% thinking we were going to just be 
coasted, easy, super scenic, but pleasantly surprised. Uh, but definitely scenic. If this is beautiful and perfect timing for the wildflowers, like yes. Just jump in. Yeah, so hello again, and we're still with you here. <laughs> we're more about on the Mesa. There, the Mesa is so big, there's literally an infinite amount of things you can do. There's even hunting, like, there's like hunting. I didn't, again, I did not know that. With, yeah, like shooting. I didn't realize that there was that much, like, and the trail network is absurd. There are so many Yeah, trails. when we were looking on Google Maps for the route that we thought Hunter was gonna take us on, there were so many options. Oh, it's infinite. Yeah, you'll see, I'll explain the map at the end of the video. Uh, in more detail, it's, I have about a minute of map and you can see just how many trails we go past. There, if you're not careful, it'll be really easy to get lost if you don't have a way of, I mean, there's kind of some markers with arrows and stuff, but not, not like. Yeah, and I guess if you just head, in you one know, direction. back in the direction you came, yeah, you'll eventually, all the trails, Yeah, they all most connect, of the trails yeah. connect, yeah, but sometimes you do have to turn around and go back. Well, again, look how hard some of these are if you were in an off-road vehicle. That's true, and imagine if the water was a little bit higher right here. Mm -hmm, yeah, this is That would have been deep. This is in July, where the water is low. Mm -hmm. And it's still pretty gnarly. His Land Cruiser's on 32-inch tires, and like a 2-inch lift, or no, just a 1-inch torsion bar. Cheater lift. What do long cruisers come with tire size? 29s maybe. Oh, okay. 30s. They're a little bit of a bump up. Okay. And he hit a lot. Yeah, he was scraping on this trail, but yeah. I did not expect it to be oh my gosh. what it was. And the water features. Why do you think I edited it? this? So many water features into it. I wanted to see every one. They're amazing. It was lovely and it was shaded most of the way. Yeah, it was a He's nice night. He's got these little random pockets of sunshine. Yeah, it was in the 70s. I think we even talk about that. I think so. Hello, viewers. <laughs> How am I supposed to greet them? Hello, America. Hello, out there in TV land. Is everyone watching on the TV? Uh -huh. I always watch YouTube on my TV. Yeah, me too. I tune in the channel. 34, isn't it? That's our channel. Temps are dropping a little bit. Hey. Oh, we keep hitting the underside of the Jeep on things. Yeah, I hit the rear diff hard. Sorry! Sun is starting to set. It's incredible looking through all the trees and everything, um, but we are starting to run out of daylight. We are more than halfway through, and someone is yawning. We're, we're not even gonna make it. Halfway, and we're not running out of daylight. It's not even eight o'clock. Okay, well, I was trying to. It's like seven forty. To put some suspense in our video, but. I'm not giving you enough dinner. Hello, viewers. <laughs> Seating a day. any sort of water, uh, try not to widen the trail. Go straight through it. If it's possible, go straight through the middle of it. Go slow so you're not putting ruts in there. Uh, we want to leave the smallest footprint as possible as off-roaders. And if we all go in the same place, that's usually the smallest.
lots of mosquitoes. Lots of bugs and Bring mosquitoes. Your bug spray. Bring your bug spray, that's for sure. Yeah, what is it? Into June right now? Uh, Into June yep. 2021, and there are so many bugs, so many beautiful flowers. Yeah, perfect time for wildflowers. Yeah, I thought it would be late because of how hot it's been, but. But it's pretty cool up here. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's only in the 70s. What? It's like 100 now at the house. Yeah, it truly is. Yeah, it's chilly. The AC's off. We turned the AC off once we got up onto the top. Dusty, uh, we cannot see through the back window. <laughs> I'll go show you. Kind of comes off. This is our lookout point. everyone who made it this far thanks for watching i'm going to explain the map in just a second remember to subscribe all right we started in colburn colorado there it turned out mesa literally just follow this map and then on to 59 and a half and then ke road such a hilarious name <laughs> and then you followed 59 road for a long time oh and that's ke like letter k letter e um that highway 59 turns into this 257-1C and it turns into dirt and uh, that's where we aired down is right where that turn was by that reservoir and you can see as you follow this just pause and you can follow our route exactly if you just even if you just write down the roads in order because we uh, follow signs there's they're all marked um, and you can see how many reservoirs we pass and how many other trails there are to go past. Um, and right here at the end, it literally connects back to a road. And as you saw, we aired up and drove back on the road. So we started on pavement, ended on pavement, and this was, what, four hours? I think so, about. It was a pretty good night. Um, there's a ton more to explore. You can see the elevation difference we got there. We start at 5,000 feet, and we go up to 10,000 feet. Wow, I didn't know we went up that high. Yeah, so that's quite a big difference. Um, and coming down, down the Mesa is really great. You saw that time lapse that I sped up at the end, and then you actually get to go through Mesa if you if it's early enough. We got ice cream at that corner store one time in Mesa. Yeah, it was there's really some good. fun little kitschy things and yeah, some at that yummy one treats. Place, and that, I think it's the corner store. Yeah, I think it's like one of the only places yeah. in Mesa. You can't miss it. Well, thanks for watching again. 
We appreciate you. Subscribe. Watch our other videos. Yeah, go back and watch some of our old videos and laugh. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> just don't Maybe be too Maybe don't harsh. do that. <laughs>